time I wouldn't believe it. And then I saw the fields with my own eyes. Watched them liquefy the dead so they could be fed intravenously to the living. And standing there, facing the pure horrifying precision, I came to realize the obviousness of the truth. What is the matrix? Control. The matrix is a computer generated dream world. Built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. No. I don't believe it. It's impossible. I didn't say it would be easy. I just said it would be the truth. Oh. The human body generates more bioelectricity than. Greetings. My wonderful Facebook family, this is your main man and your best friend, Johnny Cash, and yes, we are live. I'm not going to be before you long, but I am going to be before you strong. The title of tonight's broadcast is To Serve Man. want to start off with some shout outs. Shout out to... Tara G, thank you for chiming in. Great to see you. Uh, Raphael, thank you for chiming in. Great to see you. Anthony, thanks for chiming in. Willie, peace to the God. Thanks for chiming in. Great to see you. So we started off with this clip. And it lays the foundation for what is on my heart and mind to share with everyone tonight. We're talking about to serve man. Many years ago, there was an episode on a um, weekly television series called The Twilight Zone, and it was called To Serve Man. Check it out on YouTube when you get a chance. It is absolutely hilarious. Uh, <laughs> not in a funny way either. All right. Okay, now watch this. I hear a lot of people talking about we're slaves, we're slaves, we're slaves. I hear a lot of people talking about we were slaves we were slaves we were slaves well let me undeceive both of you we are not slaves nor were we ever slaves no None of the above. As Morpheus so masterfully articulated. And to build up to the punchline, let me just say that as we consider the greatest fraud that has been perpetrated on the people, all people, 
so-called black people, so-called white people, all people have been victims of this fraud, which is the lie concerning slavery and the inference of their existing a present day slavery. No, no. Let me undeceive you. Such is not the case. Such has never been the case. No, no. Mm -mm. As Morpheus so poignantly pointed out, we are not slaves. We are food. That's right. That's right. I'm going to say that again. Get that slavery shit out of your mind today. We are not slaves at no level, at no level. This government is rich. The books are cooked. There are two sets of books. Google the Mm, mm, mm. It's right on the tip of my tongue. It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. The, uh, oh man, it, you know how there may be a little mouse in the house and he'll peep his head out <laughs> from behind the washing machine and then jump back when he sees that you're looking. That That's how that thought just did. It, it, it peeped out, then it, it jumped back. The, it just did it again. The CAFA reports, there we go. <laughs> the CAFA reports, Google that, the CAFA reports. They say, how you spell it? Use your phonetics. You just type it in Google. Google will correct it for you, right? Okay, the CAFA reports. That is proof that there are double a double set of accounting records at the national level and at the state level. There is no, <sighs> let me put it this way. There is no real debt. <clears throat> the government is rich. The states are rich. They are lying to the public. They are giving the public data from a different accounting ledger than that ledger which reflects the true bottom line vis-a-vis -vis the, the financial uh, status of the government, federal and state, all right? This information is called the CAFA report. Check it out for yourself. Okay, so it's on the strength of the knowledge of the CAFA reports that we know that the government, federal or state, neither federal nor state, are broke, but rather are in the black, the deep black with respect to their financial economic wherewithal and capacity, right? So get it out of your mind that they need slaves in order to fund and advance their agenda. They don't need slaves. That's, that's just game. Peep game tonight, people. Peep game tonight. Johnny Cash is gonna lace you with so much, so much game. The ladies, I gonna ask the brother to change their name. <laughs> Listen to me now. I'm giving you news that you can use. All right? Okay now. So uh Karen, thanks for chiming in. Marticia, great to see you. Thank you so much for chiming in with us. All right then, so get it out of your mind that anybody needs slaves. And this is not only in America. Make no mistake, this is international. 
There is no poverty. It's all a show. It's all a game. It's all a trick to make you believe in the prospect of slavery and that the government has to trick the people into conditions of involuntary servitude. Such ideas can never be fathered from the truth. But if you want the truth, Ruth, you're going to get it tonight. Yes, you gonna learn today. Absolutely. All right then. So let's exercise that idea of slavery, that demon, that devil of slavery to Cleveland someplace. Well, you might be from Cleveland and you might say, don't send that motherfucker here. Okay, fine. Send it somewhere. <laughs> don't. Okay, don't send it to Cleveland. Send it to the moon. Send it into deep space, all right? But uh, get it out of your mind tonight. Get it out of your head tonight. Get it out of your brain tonight because it's a lie. It is a lie. It is, I repeat, a lie. I shared with a friend yesterday that this whole thing, let me rephrase that, backpedal for a minute. I said, um, the government wants the people to believe that in order to take control of the government as the people have the right to do pursuant to the laws by which governments are created. The government, notwithstanding, wants the people to believe that if they would even think in that direction, that they would have too many mountains to climb because of the military power of the government. And I told my friend, I said, that's misdirection. It's not even about military. Military is just another smoke and mirrors to keep the public docile and to make them kowtow to the government because the government does not control us using military might. Military might is not the key to our regaining our rightful place of authority in government. No, not at all. And again, it is misdirection that the government is employing in making the people believe that in order to regain their rightful power over government, that they would have to resort to warfare and gun slinging and revert back to the days of the wild, wild west. And uh, such is not the case. Such has never been the case. Well, you say, what is the case, Brother Cash? I'll tell you just let me do this. You sit on the passenger side. Let me drive. Okay. Um, Yehuda, thank you so much for chiming in. My ninja, Michael, great to see you, big brother. Now, what is it that we have to contend with if we would restore our position in government? I'll tell you what it is. The weapon that the government uses to control the people is not military might or the threat of military, um, adverse military consequences. 
but it is education. It is miseducation. It is the strategic utilization of the government's propaganda machine, which is the media. Yes, 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 yes. The media. The media is a division of the United States intelligence community. So it is an arm of the military. All right? So if I were to correct myself, if such correction were needed, I would say, all right, yeah, it's military, but it's not the military that you think. It's not the weapons of mass destruction. It is not the weapons of ass destruction. It is the weapons of mind destruction, which is education, propaganda, media. And so the public fool system, or do you say school system, is how the government controls the people. See, and a part of that is the media, the constant media reference to nuclear war and nu possible nuclear holocaust. All of that is smoke and mirrors. All of that is game. Google the nuclear war fraud. When I say Google, what I, what I literally mean by that is go to YouTube and type into the YouTube search engine the nuclear warfare fraud, the atomic bomb fraud, the atom bomb fraud, the A-bomb fraud, and listen to all of the nuclear physicists who are weighing in on the fraud that has been perpetrated against the public for the past hmm, 50 or 60 years. 50 or 60 years. I'll be 59 on the 17th of this month. And so uh, it was at least 60 years that this fraud has been perpetrated, right? Okay. Bottom line is the nature of nuclear bombs or a nuclear weapon is such that you cannot detonate it at your discretion. Nobody can just turn a key or press a button and drop a nuclear bomb. No, no, no. The scientists are saying that it would have to be calibrated according to certain cycles of the sun, which do not take place except once every maybe 20 years. Okay? So, motherfuckers got you thinking that Trump can just press a button or, or Kim can just press a button and drop a bomb on me. Nope. It doesn't go down like that. What they've shown you with respect to Hiroshima and certain quote unquote nuclear tests were not nuclear tests at all. It was simply a dynamite explosion that was disguised as a nuclear test. They detonated dynamite and told the public it was a nuclear bomb or a nuclear warhead. And, you know, like good sheep, because you were indoctrinated, programmed, processed, brainwashed by, in, and through the public fool system, you believe what your masters have programmed you to believe. 
namely that they have atom bombs that at their discretion, they can detonate and render this whole earth lifeless. Now, what idiot would do some shit like that? I'm already in control of the world. Why the fuck am I going to blow my ass up <laughs> and blow my control up? I'm having too much fun controlling shit than to fuck it up with a nuclear blast. All right, now, listen, all right? Do my zeal. Thank you for chiming in. Great to see you, Ronald. Thanks for chiming in. So we're talking about to serve man. That's the subject of tonight's broadcast, to serve man. Yes. And we said that we're not slaves. No, that's the biggest fraud perpetrated on the world next to Jesus. We are not slaves, but rather food. That's what we are for real, for real. We are food. That is a fact. Yes, it is. People coming up missing every day. People being killed in the streets every day the loved ones of celebrities. Are being murdered. Every day. That's food people. You say food for what? I thought you'd never ask. Morpheus talked about the matrix. He said it was a machine. Mm-hmm. All right. He said that it was a machine. And it is. But let me tell you what kind of machine it is not. It is not a machine constructed by the hands of man. No. Mm -mm. It's not that kind of machine. No. This machine is a psychic entity. A quasi-spiritual entity. A mental construct. And it has been in existence for a very long time. I'm not going to broach the subject of the fundamentals of magic or angelology. But I'm going to say that psychic entities are fed by blood. Certain entities are fed by blood. The ones who are behind wealth and bestowing riches in a supernatural manner, not a manner that involves the bringing of clientele to your business. That is not a supernatural matter, manner. That is simply a spiritual manner, and that does not require human sacrifice. Working with those entities does not require human sacrifices to bring wealth into your experience. But those entities that bring great wealth supernaturally 
and expeditiously like some overnight shit? Yeah. You was at the bottom yesterday and tomorrow you're on top of the world. Somebody had to die. Mm -hmm. Somebody that you love, a child or lover, husband or wife, a best friend. It's happening every day in Hollywood. All right? Okay. They are feeding that entity. And the government gets its power from that same entity. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the God in whom the government trusts. Yes, that entity, right? And so those who call themselves citizens are food for that entity. And when you let the government call you a citizen, you've given the government license to take your body and use your blood as food. That's right. I said it. I said it. I said it. Because it's true. It's true. All right. Okay, now listen. That's basically what I wanted to share with everybody. Oh, this one last thing. A call to action. Right? You can't give a message without a call to action. What is your call to action, Brother Cash? My call to action is this. White folk, study everything that you can with respect to the secrets passed down through your ancestors with respect to spiritual science. All right? So what I'm telling you is master the deepest levels that you can master with respect to paganism. Find somebody in your family that can get you initiated into the Freemasonic order. The same, let, let me finish talking to the white folks, my white brothers and sisters out there. Okay. So that you can come up through the ranks. Now the women cannot come up through the ranks like the men can under the American jurisdiction. But if you get in the Ledroit Humane Masonic jurisdiction coming out of France, that is basically in every major city in the United States, you go through the Theosophical Society, that Masonic jurisdiction will initiate men and women equally. So you can get your Masonic education that way. Um, but men and women that are involved in a jurisdiction other than that emanating from France or some other jurisdiction to where men and women will be initiated equally. Go as deep as you can in the, they call them houses, that they have dedicated for the men's instruction and the women's instruction. Women, go as deep as you can. Learn all the secrets because that is your legacy as an American. And even go deeper. Study, find an authentic Druid society. Master that knowledge, master that science, right? That's paganism. Now I'm going to talk to my black, so-called black and, and Moorish brothers and sisters. You are to master all levels of heathenism. Say, wait a minute, you call the white folks pagan. I'm black and I'm a pagan, so why you why you 
saying I'm a heathen because I know history. It's in my book, Master Your Hands, System One by Dr. Johnny Cash. Check me out at Amazon.com. Pick that book up. I get into the history of the heathens and the pagans. The heathens were the little people in Europe, the little black people, the little Moorish people called the Twa, who migrated into Europe from the southernmost portion of Africa, known as the Congo region, right? The Bantu people. They migrated up into Europe and they build their homes in the earth in the form of mounds that were called heaths, H-E-A-T-H-S, heaths. And they had a front entrance and a back entrance. The back entrance was a secret entrance. So if they got caught out there in the streets and had to haul ass, they could, they could enter into the heaths through a secret entrance in the forest, right? Okay, now, watch this. They were the teachers of the white people who left the city where the Roman church was in control. And they did not want to come under the Roman Catholic system of religion. And so since that was going on in the cities, the white folk, some who didn't want to deal with that, left the cities and moved out into the suburbs which were called the Pagonas, P-A-G-O-N-A-S, right? And so the white people who moved out into the Pagonas were called the Pagans. The little black people who were their teachers who lived in the heaths were called the heathens. And that is why the appropriate terminology for a black person who studies the system of their ancestors is termed a heathen. All of the intelligentsia are aware of this. And white people who remove themselves from religion and only study the laws of nature are called pagans. So my call to action is to advise all white people to take back your tradition, leave religion on the curb, baby. Kick it out the car and to the curb. Embrace, take back your pagan culture. Yes. Mm -hmm. Black folk. Kick religion to the curb, baby. Do a Sankofa move. Turn back and get that which you missed. Your ancient heathen culture. It's not a bad word. That's a historical term of art that was used to identify a culture of people who were the teachers to another group of people. But here's the good news, people. The teachers and the students are one culture. Uh-oh. I just gave you the master key to positive race relations. It's not about race, people. It's about culture. Yeah. See, when you're of the same culture, complexion don't matter. The culture defines the nature, not the culture. I'm going to say that again. The culture defines the nature, not the complexion. I'm going to let that soak in on you. 
because our enemy is of a anti-culture. That's why their agenda includes and is based on making us food. Fuck that, baby. I ain't nobody's lunch. I ain't nobody's snack. I will put a size 13 in that ass, baby. I ain't going to be no motherfucker's snack. All right? Ronald, thank you for chiming in. Alan, thank you for chiming in. Lauren, great to see you. Thank you so much for chiming in. That's the key, uh, brothers and sisters. That is the key. That is the key. My brothers and sisters, on the black hand side, do everything in your power to grab back, reach back, grab your culture. Anything that is not religious, but will build you spiritually. Get it. Get initiated in it. Get into the Masonic order. If you got any family members that can get you in there, get you fast tracked men, get fast tracked up to the 33rd degree because that's when you start learning the real occultism and how to deal with spiritual entities. Once you get that 33rd degree, you're going to be in there like swimwear. Okay? Right? Others of you who have other avenues that you can avail yourselves of. If you know voodoo priests, that will initiate you. If you have to get on a plane and fly somewhere and get initiated, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, but do it by any means necessary because the war that we're fighting World War Three. It's not gonna be like World War World War One One, and uh, World War Two. No. Those wars were fought with bombs and bullets. Yeah. This. Last World War is called in the Bible the War of Armageddon. It is the war between the gods. That's right. That is right. And guess what? The gods are going to be the gods that are fighting are going to be of both races, white and black. You say, well, what about yellow people and red people and brown people? At the end of the day, you got white folk and you got black folk. When you break that shit down genetically, it's a yin and yang thing, baby. Don't get it twisted. So what is my point? My point is that our team, this ain't a race war, this is a cultural war, people. Understand that shit tonight. The war of Armageddon is a culture war. It is a war of the people of nature against the people of the machines. It is a war between, as I talk about in my book, Master Your Hand System One by Johnny Cash, the old world order, which are the heathens and the pagans, versus the new world order which are 
your so-called religious people and um, the elite, right? That's the war. And the racial demographic, <laughs> it's going to be the same on both sides, people. So don't get it twisted. Everybody that look like us ain't for us. I'm talking to white folk and I'm talking to black folk. If you will take your place, your rightful place in the old world order, I will help you get connected to where you can be trained so that you are ready to engage the enemy. You may say, Brother Cash, I've already been trained. I just want to roll with you. Well, God damn it, roll with me. Let's roll, baby. Let's fucking roll and let the good times roll up in this bitch. Carlos, amigo, thank you for chiming in, hombre. Great to see you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about prepping for Armageddon so that we can keep the casualties at a minimum. We know that in any warfare, there will be casualties. But every good general makes it a point to keep those casualties at a minimum. Yes, yes. So I'm calling for generals and soldiers. And I'm calling out to those who, yeah, enough said on that. I covered, I covered that, uh, that point already. So that's it, y'all. It's been a ball. And uh, I'll let everybody advance into the evening. So review this uh, broadcast. Please like and share it. Leave a comment or two. Yeah. Share your thoughts, ideas. I solicit your prayers, incantations, spiritual work. Every successful leader is not ashamed to ask for the prayers of his people. And so I ask that of you. Because this work is serious, brothers and sisters. Again, forget about that slavery garbage. That's the fraud. We are being used as food. We have to end that. Nettles, thank you for chiming in. Great to see you, bro. We have to stop that trend dead in its tracks. Prepare for warfare, brothers and sisters. Spiritual war. Know thyself. Master yourself. Know your enemy. Master your enemy. You make a quality decision to do that. And I will absolutely, and yes ma'am, and yes sir, I will absolutely see you. And I really do mean you at the top. Good night, everybody. We'll talk again. I'm out. Peace.